Praise the Lord and good morning to all God's wonderful people. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. It's mighty nice to be on the Lord's side. Welcome to the Daily Sustaining Word. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. God is truly worthy of all praise. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Greetings extended to Elder Pusey. Praise God. Also greetings extended to Bishop Curry and Lady Curry and to all the saints on live this morning. Greetings also extended to Minister Barnes and to Missionary Plummer this morning with us. God is truly worthy of all praise. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I could search throughout eternity long and find there is none like you. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I could search throughout eternity long and find there is none like you. Search me. Oh God, and know my heart, I pray, try me, oh Savior, know my thoughts, I pray, oh, see if there be some wicked ways in me. Oh, Lord, cleanse me from me. Set me free, oh Lord, search me, oh God, my Lord, and know my heart, I pray, Jesus, try me. Oh, Savior, just know my thoughts, I pray, oh, Lord, see if there be some wicked ways in me. Cleanse me from every sin and set me free. Anointing, let it just fall on me. Go ahead and worship. Anointing. Set me free, 
Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me, O oh Lord, anoint him, Lord, fall on me. Set me on fire once more, my God. I want to live a life to please you in every way. Set me on fire once more, Jesus, so the world can watch me burn for you i'm begging you i'm begging you set me on fire once more jesus hallelujah i want to live a life to please you in every way set me on fire once more so the world can watch me burning. So the world can watch me living. So the world can watch me speaking. So the world can hear me praising. So the world can watch me burning for you. Just go ahead and send up a worship this morning. Hallelujah. Just go ahead and lift up the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Psalm 1 declares, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth its fruit in its season. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever, hallelujah, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Hallelujah. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus, we give you glory this morning. Hallelujah, we worship you, Jesus. You are the King of kings and Lord of lords. Hallelujah, enter into this present, mighty God. Enter into this place. Hallelujah, as we lift our hands to worship you, as we open up our voices, mighty God, to give you the first fruit this morning, we pray, God, that you visit us. Hallelujah, show up this morning like only you can. Hallelujah, give us strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow, God. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you move among your people, Lord God. Consecrate us now, Jesus. Make us more like you, God. We need you in such a time as this. Lord God, we cry to you this morning. Abba, Father, hear us, Jesus, and respond to the needs of your people. Hallelujah. Be glorified, O oh Lord. You are highly exalted and there is nothing you can do. Oh Lord, my eyes are on you. Be magnified, Jesus. Oh Lord, be magnified. Go ahead and just magnify the Lord where you are this morning. Be magnified, oh Lord. Jesus, you are highly exalted. And there is nothing you can do oh lord my eyes are on you be 
magnified. Oh Lord, be magnified. Come on, be magnified. Oh Lord Jesus, hallelujah, God, you are highly exalted and there is nothing you can do Jesus oh Lord our eyes are on you be magnified oh Lord be magnified. Let's do that one more time. Be magnified. Oh, Lord. Go ahead and worship. Hallelujah. You are highly exalted. And there is nothing you can do. Oh, Lord, my eyes are on you. Be magnified. Oh, Lord, be magnified. Oh, Lord, be magnified. Oh, Lord, be magnified. Psalm 4 declares, Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. O ye sons of men of long, will you, O long shall, you, return, you turn my glory into shame. How long will you love vanity and seek after leasing? But know that the Lord hath set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed. Hallelujah. And be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, who shall show us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart, more than in the time that their corn and their wine increased. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only make me dwell in safety. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. We glorify God. Hallelujah. We glorify the King of Kings this morning. Hallelujah. If you're just joining us, welcome to the daily sustaining word with our host, Elder O'Neill Pusey. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. This morning we have on the live, praise God. Praise the name of Jesus. Elder Campbell, praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Also Minister Barnes and Missionary Plummer. Praise God. Um, Elder Pusey is on the, the back end. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. You will soon see him. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. God is truly worthy of all praise and honor. So this morning, coming into worship with us, praise God, is Missionary Plummer. Come on in, woman of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, blessed Jesus, praise God. Let me honor the spirit of the Lord this morning, and I greet Bishop Curry and Lady Curry. I greet Elder Pusey, Missionary Bent, Missionary Barnes, and to the daily sustaining family. God is indeed a good God, happy to be in the presence of the Lord one more time. Hallelujah. Oh, I want to see him, to look upon his face, there to sing forever, 
of his saving grace on the streets of glory let me lift my voice here's all past oh my last ever to rejoice oh oh i want to see him just to look up on his face there to sing forever of his saving grace on the streets of glory let me lift my voice here's all past oh my last ever to rejoice hallelujah praise god i hope somebody mindset this morning is to see jesus hallelujah father we just want to glorify you we just want to bless your holy name for you are worthy to be praised mighty god hallelujah we exalt you this morning because you are god of heaven and earth hallelujah there is none like you none above you none compared to your mighty god you are in a class by yourself you are the omnipresent god the omnipotent god hallelujah you are the all-powerful god there is none like you. And so this morning, Lord, hallelujah, mighty God, as we come into your presence this morning to feast up your table, mighty God, hallelujah, to feast on your word, mighty God, as we lift up holy hands to you this morning, we pray, mighty God, that our sins will be forgiven, hallelujah, cleanse us this morning, wash us in your blood, purge us from every iniquity, all unrighteousness righteousness mighty god every thoughts that are not of you this morning wash us in the name of jesus mighty god this morning we repent of our trespasses we repent mighty god for those that trespass against us this morning mighty god we pray that the spirit of love will abide in us mighty god the spirit of forgiveness will abide in us this morning. Mighty God, hold our hand this morning. Mighty God, I pray that the fruit of the spirit will be in us this morning, God. As we rise, mighty God, help us to rise with a praise. Help us to rise with a worship this morning. Mighty God, there is none like you. And so this morning, God, as we come to the altar, empty us this morning mighty god draw us closer to you because there is none like you god we could search all over there is none like you we know that you are the god who is able the god who is faithful mighty god and so we want to trust you this morning mighty god we pray for those hallelujah who sacrifice their time to be on this broadcast this morning. Mighty God, somebody need a word this morning. Somebody need to hear from you this morning. Somebody need to be healed this morning. Somebody need a deliverance, God. And so, mighty God, as they take the time to be on this broadcast, mighty God, stretch out your hands upon them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Minister to their soul. Minister, mighty God, to their body. Minister to their emotion this morning in the name of jesus every aspect of their life mighty god i pray you will minister to them god it's not about us this morning it's all about you this morning mighty god so this morning we ask that you take full control be the center of our worship the center of our praise this morning mighty god as we lift up hands and glorify you accept our worship this morning cover this broadcast in the name of jesus no weapon formed against us shall prosper mighty god the one that comes forth with your word touch mighty god touch in the name of jesus let him speak the same god hallelujah anoint him mightily mighty god let him speak without fear and trembling yes god we come to disturb satan kingdom this morning we come to terrorize the enemy this morning mighty god hallelujah we plead the blood of jesus over this line this morning mighty god i pray you will visit home this 
morning. Yes, God, knock on some heart door this morning. Circumcise some hearts this morning in the name of Jesus mighty god bless your people this morning have your way mighty god lead and direct as we tell you thanks in jesus mighty name hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah jesus hallelujah hallelujah we worship the king of kings this morning hallelujah he is truly worthy of all praise and honor Praise God. Things might not be going the way we want it. Praise God. We might be sick in the body. Hallelujah. There might be, praise God, issues we are experiencing in our personal lives or in the lives of our family members and it's affecting us negatively. But we have a God who is able, praise God, to fix the unfixable. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. He specializes in things that seem impossible. So this morning we are here to send up a worship and we are here to give God the best. Praise God, the first fruit this morning. So as you enter into this, praise God, this atmosphere, I pray that you open up your hearts to receive a miracle. Open up your mind, hallelujah, to receive that breakthrough. Praise God, because God is here and he is ready to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think. What a God we serve if we only believe him. My God, the things that he is ready to do in our lives if we just believe. Only believe all things are possible only believe oh god we lift our faith to him this morning so it doesn't matter what needs you have he promised that he will supply all our needs according to his riches in glory won't he do it this morning do you believe that god can move mountains hallelujah do you believe that god can tear down any mountains out of your way he can part the red sea out of your way he can pull down any jericho wall any stubborn situation that you are experiencing this morning lay it all at his feet cast your cares upon him hallelujah he said in his word because he cares for us if we just put our trust in god he will work it out for us hallelujah only believe all things are possible only believe god bless you man of god minister barnes come on in at this time with your worship in the name of jesus praise the lord hallelujah praise god greetings in the mighty name of jesus amen greetings to ella Fusey, bishop Corian, mother Corey. praise god greetings to missionary plumber Glad to see you this morning. Greetings to Missionary Bent and our Hilda. Praise God, Campbell. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Create in me a clean heart, O God. And renew a right spirit within me, O Lord. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Oh, cast me not away from thy presence, O God. And take not that Holy Spirit from me, but restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Hallelujah. Oh, and renew a right spirit within me. Oh. Cast me not away from thy presence, O oh Lord. Yes, and Lord. take not thine Holy Spirit from me. Go ahead, man of God. Go ahead. unto me mm. the joy of my salvation. Jesus. And renew, and renew, and renew a right hey, spirit 
within me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. To God be the glory, Father Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for this morning. We thank you, Father God, Jesus, for life. And we thank you for strength. We thank you, God, for a sound mind. We thank you, Lord God, Jesus, that our body parts are working. They're functioning properly. Father God, there are some pains here and there. Oh God, there are some tiredness here and there. Oh God, but these things are nothing, Lord God. Oh God, when we look and we see, oh God, all the things that you have done in our lives. Father God, Jesus, this morning, God, we are asking you to create in us, Lord God. Oh God, a new, oh God, and a right spirit, Lord God, Jesus. Oh God, many times, God, we are serving you. Oh God, but we don't know, Lord God, that we are drifting, God, to different areas. Oh God, pride have taken us. Oh, oh God, our lives, Lord God, Jesus, our minds. Oh God, get heady and I'm minded, Lord God. But I pray, Jesus, that this morning, oh God, that you will renew a right spirit within us. Oh God, we thank you for your mercy this morning. Oh God, but because many times, God, we have drifted away and you could have cast us out from your presence. Oh God, but because of your mercies that is renewed, Day by day, Father God, you allow us, Lord God, to live, Lord God, and to dwell in your presence. Father God, Jesus, as we wake up this morning, oh God, we wake up to you, to give you, God, our praise and to give you our worship. Father God, Jesus, to make, Lord God, all the things, Lord God, known unto you, God, that is laid on our heart. Father God, Jesus, I pray, Lord God, for your presence this morning. I pray, Lord God, that there will be transformation this morning. I pray, God, that somebody mind, Lord God, will be comforted this morning. I pray, Lord God, Jesus, that somebody will know, oh God, Jesus, that nothing is impossible for you this morning. Oh God, is there anything that you can't do? Father God, Jesus, it doesn't matter, God, which, oh God, problem we have. You are bigger than our problems only god if we can take our minds oh god and our focus god off the problem and look on you god which is our solution father god jesus you can solve anything and father god we are looking to you this morning oh god to solve the problem lord god of crime father god jesus it has been year after year and it seems it's getting worse god but most time god we believe lord god it is impossible we believe you can solve the problem. Oh God, somebody this morning, God is crying out for sickness, Lord God. Oh God, and it seems as it's getting worse, but nothing is impossible for you this morning. Let somebody, Lord God, by faith, God, reach out to you. Oh God, and feel, Lord God, your presence and your deliverance. Oh God, let somebody, Lord God, experience your real power this morning. Father God, Jesus, we believe on you. Oh God, let us not be ashamed. Don't let God, our enemies, triumph over us. Oh God, Jesus, we are asking you for your presence. Bless your man, servant, this morning as he deliver your word. Let persons be set free. Let persons be delivered. Let persons be encouraged this morning. Oh God, we believe in you. Oh God, because nothing is impossible for you. When the devil says yes, Lord God, you will say no. And when he say no, you say yes. Oh God, and we believe, God, that you are saying yes for somebody this morning. Oh God, somebody will know, Lord God, that you have always been there and will always be there for your people. Bless us this morning and we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless Hallelujah. Name, Thank Hallelujah. You, Jesus. Only a look at Jesus. Jesus, he will bring you salvation, eternal, eternal life today, only a look, only Look, can turn you away from sin. 
Oh, a look will bring you peace and comfort, eternal, eternal life today. Only a look, that's what it takes, come on. Only a look can turn you away from sin. Oh, a look will bring you salvation, eternal eternal life today hallelujah praise the name of the lord jesus praise god there are so many things that are happening all around us praise god and all we need to do is just to look to jesus my god this gets so overwhelming at times earthquakes here tornadoes there crime and violence here my god our children are giving us trouble my god the systems are failing but we have a god who never fails if we just look to him only a look can turn us away from sin if we just keep our high our eyes and our minds stayed on jesus we know that he will fix our situation for us just keep your keep pressing saints of God. Keep your eyes on Jesus because he alone can fix it. He alone can mend the broken hearts. He alone can step into a situation that seems so dead and breathe new life. My God, what a God we serve this morning. Hallelujah. This morning we are happy, praise God, to have our elder Pusey with us. Praise God. Come on in, man of God, as you worship with us in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We worship the King this morning. We worship the King. We worship the King. Um, this song that said, Though my everlasting portion, more than friend are life to me. All along my pilgrim journey, Savior, let me walk with thee. Um, I, I don't know if you, you know that song, Sister Erica. Thank you, Jesus. I'm Thank not sure if it's in the songbook, sir. Um, okay. I'm not sure. Uh, it's, um, it's one of those old school songs. Glory to God. Oh, my oh. yes, everlasting yes. Yes. fortune. Thank you, Lord. More than friend or life to me. When you find it, jump in, woman of God. All along my pilgrim journey, Savior, let me walk with thee. Not for ease yes. or worldly pleasure, nor yes. for fame my birth shall be. Gladly will I toil and suffer, glory to God, only let. Me walk with you close to thee. Thank you, Jesus. Close to thee. Close to thee. Thank you, Jesus. Close to thee. Close to thee. Gladly we. I toil and suffer, only let me walk with thee. Lead me through, Lord, to God, come on. Of shadow. 
Thank you, Jesus. Hear me, O life's fitful sea. Then the gates of life eternal may I enter, Lord, with me close to Thee. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Close to Thee, close to Thee, close to Thee. Hallelujah. And the gate of life eternal, may I enter, Lord. Close to thee, close to thee, close to thee, close to thee. Then the gate of life eternal may I end. Lord with thee. Hallelujah. Lord, thank God for ease yeah. or worldly pleasure. Jesus. Not for fame my prayer shall be. Gladly will Yes. I toil and suffer, only let me walk with thee, close to 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 thee. Jesus. gladly will. Hallelujah, yeah. I toil and suffer, only let me walk with thee, hallelujah, close to thee, Thank you. close to thee, yes. close to thee, close to thee, gladly will. I toil and suffer, only let me walk with thee. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. We want to be able to walk with him. want to be able to walk with him, not for, for he's our, our, our worldly pleasure. Glory to God. But we want to we wanna walk with him. Glory to God, even as we get closer to the return of the Lord Jesus Christ, we want to be able to walk close to him. The happenings of the time, the signs, the different signs that are, are coming up and things that are happening around the globe. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And it's a reason why we are able to see it because the signs are, are, are the alarm is going off and the Lord um, would have it that social media will be on the rise so that we can see different things happening, different um, statues are putting up around and different things are just playing out that the Bible speaks about. And so for us as children of God, the cry should be of our heart to walk close to him. The, to, to be able to walk close to him in this season, to walk close to him, to hear him speaking, to know when he's speaking in this season and will not be distracted by anything that is around. Know your purpose and know what you're called about and keep moving forward. Glory to God. We are getting ready to pray right now. We are getting ready to pray right now. We're getting ready to pray right now. But I, I, I just love 
um, that 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 um, page sister Erica gave us just now, and I I just want you to just to come on one more time, sister Erica, and just give us about three more times. Hallelujah. Then we're gonna go into prayer. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. Though my everlasting yes. portion. Thank you, Jesus. More than friend or life to me. All along my pilgrim journey. Savior, let me walk with thee, not for ease or worldly pleasure, not for fame my prayer shall be. Gladly will I toil and suffer, only let me walk with thee lead me through the veil of shadows bear me o'er life fitful sea then the gate of life eternal may i end Lord, with thee, close to thee, close to thee, close to thee, close to thee. Gladly will I toil and suffer, only let me walk with thee one more time close to thee close to thee close to thee close to thee gladly will i toil and suffer only let me walk with thee only let me walk with thee thank you jesus that's the reason why the hallelujah we're not afraid that's the reason why they were powerful they they, they went through suffering but they walk with jesus they walk with jesus and so they were not afraid i want everybody out there in social media land, whether you're on YouTube, you're on um, Facebook, or you're on Instagram, or you listening to audio, I want everybody to just begin to pray right now. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Ah, glory to God. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we want to thank you, Lord, for your love. We want to thank you, Lord, for your mercy. And we want to thank you for your grace. The word declares that morning by morning, new mercies I seek. And all that I have ever needed, your hands have provided. Great is your faithfulness. This morning we come before you another time, Lord, and be off of your children. Lord Jesus, when men look on the outer part, you, you look at the heart, Jesus. You know who we are. You know our past, our present, and our future. This morning, Father, I commit your children into your hands, God. You know them and you know what they are facing this morning. God, this is a challenging time for some families. Lord, some of them feel like they are breaking. Some of them don't even know how they're going to get through this day. But Lord, I thank you for the assurance in your word when you told us that as our days are, so shall our strength be. I pray for the strength, God, that you have provided for this day, that God, it will be poured into your children. Oh God, this morning, in the name of Jesus, we are praying 
Lord God, for those who are who are feeling depressed, God, who are feeling down in their spirit. Oh God, we are praying for those who feel bound this morning. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we are praying for those who feel frustrated. Those who are who are who are going through panic attack, Lord. Those who are experiencing different sicknesses, Lord, in your bodies, the doctors of that knows, Lord, we are praying for them this morning. We are praying for those who have a, a, a job situation where they're seeking for job. We are praying for those this morning, Father, oh God, who are struggling financially. We are praying for those this morning, Father, that their, their marriages are under attack, Lord, and they feel like it is falling apart. Lord, we are praying for those, Lord Jesus, who, who are so desperate. They have an emergency situation where they really need you to show up. Lord, like Joseph, Lord, we stand this morning and the question that is asked, are thou not our God who rule in the heavens and in your hands, Lord, is there not might and power so that none is able to withstand you? Lord, these cries that we are making unto you this morning, there are nothing for you to fulfill. You are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think according to your riches and glory. And so I pray on behalf of your children, we pray that you meet them in their situation. There is a, a woman, Lord God, this morning, just like the one at the well, who have reached a breaking point where she don't know what to do or, or where to turn, Lord, my God. But I pray that you meet them in their situation the same way you meet the woman at the well, God, and give her fresh water to drink. I pray, Lord, like those Hebrew boys in the fire, like Daniel in the dead, that you will meet them, Lord, in their situation this morning. We know that the enemy comes to kill that he comes to steal and he comes to destroy. But Father, thank you so much that we can rely upon you. We can put our trust and our confidence in you because you came that we may have life and have it abundantly. Today, God, we cry out to you, Lord. We cry out to you for help. We cry out to you for help this morning and we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that the adversary, Lord, will be put under subjection. Lord God, everything that is trying to block your children, the spirit of restriction, the spirit of my God, of endurance that, that is blocking them for whatever reason, whatever it is that is blocking them from receiving that which you have. I pray that you will remove it this morning, Father and give your children the victory. As you read through these prior requests this morning, as you go through them individually, Lord, you know where they are located geographically. You know where they are emotionally. You know what they are going through, Father. You know how long they have been through it, God, been going through it, Lord. You know everything that is happening to them as they made these requests this morning. I pray that as you read them, Lord, that you will answer them. You will answer them as you see it fit. Lord, let no one, Lord, leave and touch this morning. Lord, that enter this broadcast. Let no one that enter this broadcast leave and touch. I pray that every single one of them that get into this virtual room this morning will have an encounter with you. My God, we pray that a word, my God, will be spoken that will cause transformation to take place. We give you the glory this morning. We give you the praise. And we give you the honor in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. 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 Hallelujah. Elder Campbell, I think it's over to you, sir. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Lord, hallelujah. Thank you. Wonderful is the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I greet all 
Amen. The saints of God that are on this morning on the daily sustaining word. Hallelujah. God bless you, Elder Pusey. Amen. Hallelujah. Who convened this program. God bless Bishop Curry. Amen. Who oversee this ministry and his wife, Lady Curry, and the saints of the Refuge Temple. Amen. Church in Amen, Old Harbor. God bless you in the name of Jesus to Missionary Bent. Amen, Missionary Plumber to Minister Barnes. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. This morning, I want to take our minds to the word of the Lord from Judges chapter 6. And as we are under this theme, he can make a way. Praise the Lord. Judges chapter 6 and from verse 11, it says, and there came an angel of the Lord and sat under an oak, which was in Ophrah. I want to make sure I get that name right. That pertained unto Joash, the Abbey Ezrite. And his son Gideon threshed wheat by the wine. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, the Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. And Gideon said unto him, O my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why then is all this befallen us? And where be all his miracles which our fathers told us of, saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord hath forsaken us and delivered us into the hands of the Midianites. And the Lord looked upon him and said, Go in this thy might, and thou shalt save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Have not I sent thee. And he said unto him, O my Lord, wherewith shall I save Israel? Behold, my family is poor in Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house 16 and the lord said unto him surely i will be with thee and thou shalt smite the midianites hallelujah as one man let me read verse 28 and when amen hallelujah and when the men of the city arose early in the morning behold the altar of Baal was cast down, and the grove was cut down that was by it, and the second bullock was offered upon the altar that was built. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. God bless you, saints of God who have come to pray. Amen. On this ministry, in this hour, saints who are on Facebook, on YouTube, amen, Instagram, all around the world. God bless you ever richly in the name of Jesus Christ. I share with you this morning this reading from the scripture where the scriptures in Judges talked about Gideon. Hallelujah. Amen. And when we understand the story of Gideon and how the Lord, amen, delivered him and deliver the children of Israel, we can begin to apply to our lives. Hallelujah. First of all, we see from, chap from verse 1 of chapter 6 that Israel sinned against God and God delivered them into the hand of the Midianites. Now, Midian, who was Midian? Midian was uh, the son of Abraham by Keturah. Hallelujah. But became bitter enemies of Israel in the days of Moses. Hallelujah. Amen. Genesis 25 verse 2 to 4 shows us that Midian, this Midian was son of Abraham by Keturah. That means they were near relatives. Amen. Of Israel. Hallelujah. Now this was not Midian in the south where Jethro lived, but this was Midian in the east that joined with Moab, amen, Numbers 22 and verse 4. Now, interestingly, the Lord was the one who was responsible. 
for delivering Israel into the power or the hand of Midian for seven years, and Midian prevailed or overcame against Israel. Hallelujah. Now, th this is a people, Midianites, who 200 years before were almost wiped out by Israel. Amen. And uh, it is important here to understand almost wiped out. Numbers 31 verse 7. I mean, it means that, amen, Israel did not wipe them out when they could. And it is important, child of God, that when you have your enemy in a place, hallelujah, where you can wipe him out, amen, do not let him escape. But that is for another time. When Israel sowed, therefore, as uh, the word of God said, and the harvest came in, the Midianites came up at that time to plunder their substance along with sheep and oxen. And so the Midianites were a plunderous, undisciplined set of robbers who did not come up for a fight. They came up to steal, kill, and destroy. And so they impoverished Israel through this behavior. Let me put this in that a people can be poor and hopeful, but to be poor and hopeless is to be impoverished. And so here it is that Israel imprisoned themselves in dens, in caves, hallelujah, to hide from the Midianites. Glory to God. It is one thing, child of God, to be captive to an enemy. But it's another thing when you have to imprison yourself. Amen. In order to get away from your enemy. Hallelujah to God. And so Israel was greatly impoverished because of the Midianites and the children of Israel cried unto the Lord. They were back into a corner in such a way that they could not escape. And the thing which they served, they served Baal, they served Ashtoreth, they were not doing them anything good. They were not able to help them, but they still continue to call upon Baal and Ashtoreth. And there is something that is going to happen to you when you are to be worshiping the true and living God and make something else your God. God is going to prove to you that what you have made your God is not able to help you and is going to allow you, God is going to allow your back to be brought to a corner that you will have to call on the name of the true and living God. When their back was against a corner, they did not call on Baal or Ashtoreth. They called upon the Lord Jehovah. Hallelujah. And so, amen. Here the Bible says in Jeremiah 6 verse 16, Stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old path where is the good way and walk therein and ye shall find rest for your soul. Hallelujah to God. And so when they cried unto the Lord, the Lord sent them a prophet and rebuked them and said, you have not obeyed my voice. Hallelujah. But God Almighty was not about to abandon his people and leave them to the mercy of the enemy altogether. The scripture says the angel of the Lord came, amen, and sat under an oak and Gideon was by the wine press threshing wheat to hide it from the Midianites. Now understand with me that Gideon was found threshing wheat not on the threshing floor but in the wine press hallelujah to god hiding from the enemy glory to god how many of us are hiding from the enemy this morning amen doing what we need to do doing the right thing hallelujah but in the wrong place gideon amen was threshing wheat not in the right place but in a wine press hiding glory to god and so gideon we understand hallelujah we got to understand the mindset now that he was born in an environment where it was not 
his fault. He was, amen, where his gifting and character was not being put to proper and effective use and his gifting and character could not be formed because he and his family were hiding from the enemy. You are in a place where you are being formed but you are still in hiding from the enemy. You are in a place where you are gifted but because of what you came into you are hiding from the enemy. Hallelujah. Understand with me that it is possible that if we do not come into the proper environment when our gift, amen, cannot be nurtured and put to proper use and our character cannot be properly formed effectively to serve God, then we can find our place in a place ourselves, in a place of dormancy, in stagnancy and deformity. Hallelujah to God. You can find yourself in dormancy, stagnancy and deformity. Formity. Hallelujah. But here it is now that we understand that Gideon found himself in a place where he was psychologically disproportioned. He was psychologically affected. He felt that he was given a raw deal. I'm not responsible for where I am. Hallelujah. Where are the miracles, God? Have you been in a place where you're questioning God and you're asking God, God, where am I? What is this? I heard of so many miracles in the past. I heard of so much great things. And all I'm seeing around me is decadence, dormancy, stagnancy. What is going on? Going on, and so he Gideon, like many of us today, struggle to understand the reality versus the ideal. Hallelujah to God. He could not comprehend what was, amen, his reality versus what was supposed to be happening. He struggled to understand or reconcile his environment environment with what this angel was saying. You are saying, I am a mighty man of valor, yet my environment suggests nothing of valor and prowess and power and dominion. What are you saying to me, God? He struggled to understand his giftedness versus his tribal status. My family is the least in the house of Manasseh. Oh God, my father's house is nothing and yet still you are saying I am gifted hallelujah but here is what the word of god said can any good thing come out of nazareth i want you to put your hand on yourself and say yes there is some good thing in me hallelujah and i'm not going to stay hidden because the god that i serve is about to cause a move a shift not only in my environment, but a shift in my psychology, a shift in my spirituality, and he is going to lift me to another dimension. Hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord. God then would have Gideon to understand that it is not your family back ground from which I am choosing you. I'm not choosing you based on where you come from. I'm not choosing you based on the history of your people Israel. I'm choosing you based on your future, the destiny that I have given you. I'm choosing you based on my purpose. I'm calling you based on my will. You are a valor, not because of your yesterday, but because of your tomorrow. I wish somebody could praise God and lift up your hands and say, Lord, I believe you can make a way. Hallelujah to God. And so God was saying to Gideon now, Gideon, you are threshing wheat. You are doing the right thing, but you are doing it in the wrong 
place. I want you to be in the right place, doing the right thing at the right time time because I am now with you. The reason why you have always been doing what you've been doing in the place where you have been doing it is because God had not always been with you but today god is with you and he is revealing that he is with you and he is bringing you out of secret and he is going to make the enemy to know that there is a god in israel and he is able to make a way in the desert for his people somebody praise god on this line the lord says amen you are a man of force of strength of virtue gideon i'm calling you mighty but you're not just mighty but you are mighty times two you are mighty 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 you are a mighty man of might. I wish somebody could prophesy to themselves and say, I am mighty times two. I am mighty to the second power. I am mighty, mighty, mighty. I'm powerful with God. And the Lord looked on him when he began to complain. You see, the thing with God is that when God has destiny on you, God doesn't pay attention to your complaint. God knows what he is saying. He knows what he is doing. And God will overlook and override your complaint and continue to speak over your life Gideon said God these are all my situations and God said go in this thy might like God you didn't just hear what I said God said I'm not paying attention to what you're saying I'm paying attention to what I am saying and I want you to pay attention to what God is saying, go in this thy might, and thou shalt save Israel from the hand of the Midianites, have not I sent thee. The Lord assures Gideon of his presence with him, and he gives him his first test. He says, I want you to throw down your father's altar. Hallelujah to God. Child of God, this morning, the Lord challenges you. I'm going to make a way. As a matter of fact, I've already made the way. But this is not something I'm doing for you. This is something I'm doing with you and through you. I'm not going to come down and throw down what you need to throw down. I'm not going to come down and do what you need to do. The angel sat under the oak. The angel did not go throw down the altar of Baal. God said to Gideon, Gideon, this is what I want you to do. If my power is going to be revealed in you and in Israel, uh, you might not be responsible for where you are, but you are responsible for where you're going. Oh, Yamakashanda, and I want you to arise, Gideon, and you're going to go and throw down your father's idol. You're going to go and destroy your daddy's altar.
you're gonna break the generation curse somebody on this line need to know that your parents got you into this mess oh your forefathers got you into this trouble but if you're going to move on you can't move forward going backward you got to get rid of your daddy's altar you gotta get rid of your mama's idol you got to write their mistake you gotta call upon god and command their altars that they built to bail and Astaroth be cast down in the name of Jesus Christ. And what the Lord has sent me to tell somebody this morning that the way is already made, but the idols are blocking the way. The history that's full of idolatry is standing in the way. God said, I'm not going to move with you. I'm not going to move in you until you get rid of the idol. And Gideon was afraid, but he took 10 men of his servants and he went by night. If you got to go at midnight, if you got to go by night and cast down the idol, get up out of your bed, get into prayer and get rid of the altar, break it in pieces, throw it down, cast down the spirit of terror by night, cast down the spirit of Baal, get rid of the Baal and Ashtoreth, and then the Lord will be with you. The Bible, the Bible said that Gideon threw down the altar, and in the morning there arose some people, when you're anointed, when you're appointed, and assigned by God, you're going to have enemies, you're going to have battles, the anointing of God guarantees battles, but the anointing also guarantees your victory. I wish somebody could praise him with me. There is a move of God in you, but God wants you to move the altar, move the image of your father's house that has been upon your life for generations. God is saying, cast them down, and I'm going to move in you. He cast down Baal, and somebody came and said, who did this? Bring him out, and let us deal with him. I heard Gideon's daddy, Gideon's father, the same one who put up the altar, stood up to defend his son and say if Baal is a god let Baal fight for himself somebody today if that image is a god challenge him this morning challenge it this morning and let it fight and see who the true god is is Baal God Gideon got a name he was called Jerob Baal which meant he who strives against Baal you gotta break it down you gotta destroy the iconic spirit you gotta destroy that religious pride you gotta destroy hallelujah that idol worship the spirit of poverty got to break oh witchcraft got to break pride and envy strive got to break you gotta tear it 
down adultery and fornication or divorce and suicide got to break everything every witchcraft every mermaid spirit or every marine spirit oh god almighty every for every freemason every familiar spirit got to break oh god is saying i'm gonna use you but you got to come up out from under bail and allow my spirit to do exceeding abundant far above you can imagine or think according to the power that worketh in you i'm gonna do a new thing i'm gonna do a different thing i'm gonna use you to destroy those who oppress you i'm gonna use you to be more than a conqueror for greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world but you've got to remove the idol you got to remove the image. You got to remove the curse. Somebody this morning need to understand that if you're being plundered, if you're being impoverished, check on the idol that is operating in your space there's an idol there's an image and god said i've given you might and i've given you power but i'm not going to remove what you need to get rid of somebody ought to get rid of it this morning Somebody ought to get rid of that habitual sin this morning through prayer and fasting and the word of prophecy, the word of God to break the generation curse. Gideon was powerful with God, but except he removed the image and its altar, he would forever be threshing wheat in the wine press. Threshing wheat in the wrong place. Praying, but in a wrong place. God said, remove the idol and I will do it and show you that I've done it. I've done what you have asked of me, I've delivered you, I've healed you, I've set you free, I've made room for you, but there's an idol in your space that the power that I've given you cannot manifest until you remove the idol and its altar in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, do the will of God this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, God bless you. Back over to your man of God. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Oh, God. Some things that will block us. There are some endurance, some things that will endure us. It will end our prayers. Hallelujah. And we got to watch those little ism and schism because they will block us. Hallelujah. Gideon had to tear it down. He had to get rid of it in order to see his true potential. You'll never see the true potential until you align yourself with God and start doing exactly what God told you to do. And as you begin to do that, you will begin to see the manifestation of the power of God in your life. Glory to God. Gideon didn't even know that he was capable, but God had to reassure him. 
you mighty man of value. Glory to God, you mighty woman. Oh my God, you mighty man, you mighty woman. Glory to God, you walking around with your head down and speaking defeat. Glory to God. But I want to remind you this morning, you mighty man of God, you mighty woman of God, mighty man of God. Glory to God. Something, something is just there that is that is blocking you. Hallelujah. But you are mighty. You are mighty. We bless God for you this morning, Sir Campbell. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that word this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm uh, I'm gonna ask um, Lady Erica just to pray that last prayer for us before we we go this morning. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. God, we thank you. Mighty God, we thank you for loving us. We thank you for remembering us, God. Hallelujah. We thank you for the words that you have sent to us, mighty God. Hallelujah. Your words are powerful. Your words are healing to our soul, healing to our body, mighty God. And so we thank you for the man servant. May you cover him. May you bless him. May his store basket never go empty, mighty God. May you empower him. May you cover his family under your blood. Yes, God, build a fence around him. Pour back into him, mighty God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, bless him in a special way. Mighty God, we thank you for the words this morning. Hallelujah. God, we break down every idol. Hallelujah. Yes, God, we get rid of the idols that are in our life this morning. Hallelujah. God, we want to see the manifestation, but my Mighty God, we have been disobedient. Hallelujah. I pray, mighty God, you will show us the idols that are in our life that we need to get rid of, mighty God. And this morning, we break every idols in the name of Jesus. We get rid of the altar. Hallelujah. The altar of Baal this morning. We get rid of it, mighty God. And we prostrate before the altar of Almighty God. Hallelujah. For a renewal of mind. Yes, mighty God, renew our mind this morning. Transform our mind this morning. Help us, God, to draw closer to you this morning. Forgive us of our trespasses. Forgive us, God, of our, oh God, even of our poor fathers. Hallelujah. Sin, mighty God. Every generational curse, mighty God, we break it this morning in the name of Jesus. Oh God, sin of our poor parents this morning of our grandparents, yes God, of our parents this morning, of every family members this morning, mighty God we break every altar this morning, hallelujah, we get rid of the hardness of heart this morning, mighty God every disobedient, every sin mighty God, we get rid of it this morning, mighty God we come to you with an open heart this morning, fix mm -hmm. our heart this morning, mighty God, hallelujah fix our heart this morning morning touch us mighty god hallelujah and help us mighty god to get rid of that image hallelujah break it mighty god help us to break that curse to break every generational curse to break that image out of our life mighty god whatever it may be we know mighty god what it is we know mighty god let the Holy Ghost this morning reveal what the idol is, what the image is, what the generational curse is, God. And we pray against everyone right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let your manifestation take place this morning in our lives, mighty God. Because truly, mighty God, we know that you are the God who is able to deliver, mighty God. You can do it, Jesus. Hallelujah. And so this morning, we trust you that you are able. Mighty God, we even pray this morning for Shana Walker and family, mighty God. I pray you will touch, mighty God, Walker and the family. Mighty God, whatever the cause is, God, hallelujah. Mighty God, we pray that you will touch that family and fix everything, mighty God, in that family. We break every generational curse. Mighty God, every sickness, everything that is operating in that family. Mighty God, we come against every plan of the 
enemy. Oh God, put that family together in the name of Jesus. Bless that family this morning. And mighty God, we come against depression. Oh God, Jermaine is experienced depression this morning and anxiety. And God, we speak against that depression in the name of Jesus. Lord God, let not worry and stress take over, but we command that mind to be in alignment. Oh God, in alignment with your word this morning. We speak to the mind of Jermaine this morning. In the name of Jesus, let that mind be still. Let that mind be peaceful. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mighty God, we pray for even Jermaine Atkinson, who is having kidney failures this morning. Mighty God, we pray that he will come true for this young man hallelujah you know him from he was substance in his mother's womb and so mighty god you are the doctor you are the healer you can make a way mighty god lord jesus where the family is to find so many hundreds of thousands every month mighty god but this morning you are our finance minister we know nothing is impossible to you so visit Jermaine atkinson this morning mighty god and touch that body in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, I pray even for Markeisha, my sister who is on her way to Kingston. Mighty God. Lord God, we come against cancer in the name of Jesus. Lord God, clear the atmosphere. Send the right doctors around her. Mighty God. Let doctors be surprised in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we come against every cancer cell in that body in the name of Jesus. Dry up right now in the name of Jesus. I put sister Tracy before you I put mighty God Georgia before you yes God and anybody else oh God who is experiencing cancer may you touch their body may you heal their body God how do I know you can heal cancer because God you have done it for me and you can do the same for them you are a God who is just a God who is faithful at your word and your word said you sent forth your healing mighty God to heal every disease. So God, touch sicknesses this morning. Heal sick bodies this morning. Mighty God, we just want to thank you for the word. We thank you for everyone who participated in worship this morning. Visit us, mighty God. Send your angels to cover us under your blood. For those who are driving, go before them, God. Clear the atmosphere. Take the wheel, the steering. Put the car in the right direction, mighty God. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Hallelujah. We can't do without you. We can't live without you. We can't breathe without you. Remember, God, even our first responders this morning, mighty God, build a fence around them. Give them the strength to go on, God. It's not easy, but I pray strength in the name of Jesus. Bless our teachers this morning and for those students, God, who are doing exam for today and the rest of the week. May you breathe upon them. May you bring back to their memory that which they have studied, mighty God. May they excel. May they trust you this morning. May you have their... Oh God, have your way in their life this morning and help them, mighty God, to succeed. God, we thank you for today and we thank you for the beginning of the service to the ending. Bless Bishop Curry, bless Lady Curry, mighty God, and bless Elder Pusey. Bless this program as we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you this morning, brothers and sisters. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Amen. It was such a pleasure having you with us this morning. Hallelujah. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you this morning. We got to go. We, we pray today that you will walk with you, around you, beside you, and all around you. The God of heaven bless you today and strengthen you and cause his face to shine upon you. The prayer and the cry of our heart is that great grace and peace will rest upon you that you will experience uncommon favor in every area of your life and that as your days are so shall 
your strength be what good. Only in you, only in you, I am safe.